let's talk about red flags and profiles. If he has a drink in every photo. Red flag. If he's smoking blunts in every photo. Red flag. <laughs> I just hit myself in the head. Bringing a whole bunch of champagne to his table. Red flag. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna talk about something really fun and really interesting. My experiences with online dating and all my mistakes. Woo! <laughs> There's a lot. A lot. Yes. Before we get started, I just wanna be super honest and give you guys like full disclosure, I suck at dating. I really, really like I'm terrible at it. I'm, I'm bad at flirting. I've gone to online dating to hope to like make things better and have more success, but I think I did a lot of things wrong and I have a lot to share with you guys that I think I've learned from my mistakes and I hope you guys can benefit from it. I've tried every single dating app, I think. I've tried so many. Gosh, I need to go through my phone. I have like this hidden folder in my apps, which I, I called entertainment so no one would see like all the dating apps I have. No, lifestyle, I called it lifestyle. Wait, where is it? I feel like I, I hope I didn't delete it. I'm trying to pretend it's not front and center. <laughs> lifestyle. So Lexi, Coffee Meets Bagel, Bumble, Elite Singles, Happen, Tinder, Hinge, Inner Circle, Raya, to name a few. And then there's always Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to talk about today is your profile and the way you put yourself out to the world. If you're looking for something serious, okay, if you're looking for fun, forget what I'm gonna say right now because this doesn't apply to you. But if you're looking for something serious, I truly feel it's important for you to put out there what's gonna attract what you're actually looking for. Like when I first created my profile years ago, 2015 I think, I first created my first Tinder profile and I put out all the same photos that I thought I should put out. And it was just very like over edited photos, all the jewelry, fancy location, Locations, very like typical and that's not who I am to my core it's not who I want to be and it's not who I want to attract you know I don't want to put out a person like that to attract my partner in life and I attracted really 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 sleazy guys that's not what I'm looking for I also had a bio that said like I think the first part said like no boys <laughs> basically I did go on one date while I had that profile and that one date was Horrible, horrible, so horrible that I deleted the app and I never went on for about four years. Actually, I talked to many guys, but I only went out with one. The one guy I met, again, like after the date, he like sent me a picture of himself wearing these pink boxers with like a heart on. And I was like, really, really? Why not for Shisha? You really wanna put out a version of yourself that a person is going to be appreciative of what's deeper. I didn't only put photos of myself the second time around. I put one meme, I put a nice quote. I put like different things that I am interested in. You could put a picture of your favorite book. I also changed up my bio. I put things that were super deep and meaningful. I put that I love nerds. I put that I love to read, things that I, that really mattered to me. And yeah, I don't remember the exact profile. Maybe I should see if I can dig it up. Let's see, I think I have to like reactivate my account. Put anything but ordinary. I'm a simple girl at heart with an eccentric, elaborate mind. I don't do small talk and tend to jump into deep conversations. I'm not afraid to share my dreams or hear about yours. I put passion into everything I do and can't imagine life otherwise. Swipe right if you're a passionate, loving, wise, honest, charming, chivalrous, ambitious, intellectual, strong, funny, love people and love adventure. Is that, is that intense? <laughs> I guess a little bit. I like adjectives too. <laughs> so second time around, I did have a successful Tinder experience. I mean, I've shared it before publicly. I met my ex fiance on Tinder. And again, it was when I changed my profile completely. Honestly speaking, he wasn't the only guy who I, I connected with who I felt was like interesting. You know, I met a lot more interesting people who I felt like had potential. So I had a world of a different experience with that one profile versus the second profile. So next, let's talk about red flags and profiles. So the first thing I would say that's a definite red flag is if every single photo is him topless, he's sexualizing himself and like flexing, like if every single photo is super vain, then I would say pass. If the guy is just, you know, flossing in every single photo, it's a fancy car, it's a private plane photo, you know, be careful. If he's like, I like to collect books, different story, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, the next red flags to look for in the DM. There's one text that I just find super, super annoying and just drives me absolutely nuts is when a guy just says, hey. Like, hey? Hey? 
Are you kidding me? If they're writing hey, they're writing hey to 100 girls a day, okay? So we have some like red flag messages here. And again, these are text number one and that's why they're red flags. I feel like a lot of these messages, if they came in five days later, or seven days later, a couple weeks later, I would love it. But if this is message number one, no. Your mom must have been a bee because you are sweet as honey. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna show Santa a picture of you so he knows what I want for Christmas. What? Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. I need you to x-ray my knee because I tripped falling for you. I'm actually from the future where we've been married for 12 years. Wow. I've been trying to resolve an argument about when our first date was. <laughs> Red flag. Okay. So I think this goes without saying, but if you get a pick on, you know, message one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, any of those messages, if they're a pick, that's a huge red flag and run. Okay. Swipe left. <laughs> so another red flag when you're texting is if the person is just trying to meet you right away. The first, second, third message is like, what are you doing tonight? Let's meet. I'm sorry, red flag. The person should be willing to invest into you. They should be willing to want to get to know you first by text or either phone calls. And then after a couple weeks, I would be willing to meet the person. Before that, absolutely not. I feel like if they're just trying to meet you on day one or even day two or three, I would be careful. I think it's a red flag and they're not willing to invest their time into really getting to know you. So I hope you guys enjoyed learning from my mistakes and my experiences with online dating today. I know that a lot of us have been trying to stayed busy in quarantine and we're all like looking on social profiles and that kind of stuff so hopefully you learn from this hopefully it saves you some time and just remember to be safe be honest be upfront the truth is all of us even behind all the issues we have and even if like at this point in time someone's not looking for deep connection we all truly are longing for connection i want you guys to just try to save all the bs that you would waste time with people who aren't looking for that right now and that in that stage of their life and just try to get closer to what you want faster so that's the whole point of this video and i really hope you guys enjoy it so for today's quote of the day it is by Albert Ellis and it is the art of love is largely the art of persistence and I strongly believe in this because I think that finding the right partner is definitely a numbers game especially when it comes to online dating try to get out there meet as many people as you can and take time and be patient but then also when you do meet the right person you got to be persistent you got to keep making sure that you are trying to show that person love and they are showing you love and it's it's about keeping it going you can't just find the right person and then put your feet up and think oh i found the one i'm gonna start resting now no it's a full-time commitment put your all into it and you also need to attract a person who's going to be willing to put in that work too so watch out for the red flags Woo! <laughs> make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you guys can get all the updates for all my new videos I love you guys so much and happy dating. Love you. Mwah.